Imagine, if you will, a bold men's rights activist and swashbuckling white nationalist on paper writing a 2000 word dissertation on how somebody on the internet was too mean to him. Now place him at around 40 years old, hand him a clanky glass of grown-up liquor, and watch as he effeminately nurses sips during tirades of brain-dead racial commentary. Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, I present the amazing Arini. Davis M. J. Arini, a posed-up embodiment of Howie Mandel, gained widespread indifference due to his bumbling role in the Anita Sarkeesian flop, The Sarkeesian Effect. You can, of course, find out more about that particular train wreck in the acclaimed documentary The Sargonian Effect. The project had the appearance of an all-out scam, with Orini pocketing tens of thousands of dollars in exchange for a handful of poorly recorded Thunderfoot interviews, and with those funds likely going towards pirate costumes and crates of cigarettes, as opposed to improving the production quality of his glorified high school project, it's surprising to see this man once again rear his hairless dome. Everything about this man oozes a sort of adolescent sleaze, his cigarette swaying between shallow drags, the jingling of ice against a glass he never seems to drink from, the fake skull he bizarrely names MacArthur showing just how dark and complicated this man is, the utter stench of try-hard faggotry is almost incapacitating, and then we have his swordplay. Here stands Arini, some grown-ass fart sniffer slashing cantaloupes on stacked boxes. But when not LARPing as some sort of blade-wielding Ming the Merciless, Orini can be found penning long-winded whimpers about six-minute segments of videos he has almost nothing to do with. An open letter to Porcelain regarding false claims in his documentary is something I have only glossed over, and given the length of this absurd rant, I'll save you from hearing it in full. Essentially, he accuses me of using out-of-context clips to portray him unfairly as a white nationalist. You know, that thing he said he was on paper. He defends this by assuming I should, much like his alleged followers, simply know what the fuck he's talking about. He then seems to go to painful lengths in begging for some sort of retraction, challenging whether my integrity as an amateur yellow journalist is as important to me as my ego before asking me to rise above snark and sarcasm. Well, Davis, I'll do my best. He even seems to reach the water-headed conclusion that my opinion piece constitutes actionable libel, before again resorting to a series of meth-headed tantrums that absolutely nobody will read. The trouble is, Davis, your empty threats are as real to me as your self-identification as some sort of pussy-slaying samurai. You're a fedora with a sword, and you dress like a pedophile. But let's go ahead and break down what it is you're so upset over. I referred to you, largely in passing, as a white nationalist, race realist, and deeply closeted magician. Clearly the setup to a fucking joke. I then played some funny clips of you making a complete ass of yourself. Now this constitutes around 30 seconds and approximately two sentences of the entire video. I further prefaced the documentary with a disclaimer, confirming these to be baseless opinions that nobody should take seriously. In response, this wildly autistic cosplayer at mentions Patreon and Patreon support, highlighting some sort of spurious defamation grievance in attempts at getting me removed from the service. He even has the temerity to suggest that I'm negatively impacting his career, although if your so-called career as a racist YouTube magician is so easily damaged by six minutes of clearly hyperbolic content, you should probably learn to code. With an appearance akin to that of a gay porn Bond villain, Orini's proclivity towards blatant homosexual acts prompted a total Twitter meltdown. He began by responding to EZPZ's tweet asking why Patreon are tagged, saying, Because I take harmful libel about me, false statements that could damage my ability to earn money, quite seriously. Now allow me to extend an offer to Orini, one that even his turtlenecked throat could swallow. I will cover, in full, the $2.95 you may or may not have lost as a result of your three followers stumbling across my documentary. Can't sound fairer than that. In another tweet, he referred to illegal and immoral libel published about me, before labelling me a pussy for calling his open letter retarded. In a move befitting his Orlando nightclub appearance, he seems to have no qualms in requesting masculine pictures of other men, no doubt to mash his hairless meat to before asking politely that I reveal my name. He further states that I'm using Patreon's funds to commit the crime of libel. Libel's a tort, not a crime. Clearly some egg-headed logic indeed. 
More insane ramblings followed, such as this one quoting patrons' terms of service. These mostly came in the form of veiled threats and not-so-subtle attempts at the most ineffectual intimidation I've ever seen. Eventually, he presents an ultimatum. Either admit I made a mistake, or choose not to do that. Balls in my court, apparently. I chose not. What Davis doesn't seem to understand in that phallic-looking head of his is that his claims are to logical reasoning, what his dress sense is to affluent heterosexuality. Libel is an incredibly difficult charge to prove, and in a case such as this, almost impossible. You see, Davis, I was only fucking around. These documentaries are somewhat satirical and wildly hyperbolic. I say as much in the video's disclaimer, literally the second thing to come on screen. However, it's incredibly easy to make a case supporting your white nationalism, especially given your own admittance to being a white nationalist on paper. I make absolutely no qualifying statements other than describing you as you described yourself. I said nothing of note that even begins to qualify as libel. But sure, sue me. Report my Patreon. Let's see how that particular fairy tale works for you. My money's on you, Davis, once again making another giant tit of yourself. <laughs>